groups. But back in the old days, we used to use MIDI tracks and the auxiliary tracks together uh, to be able to run a MIDI instrument. The instrument track fixed that by amalgamating the two tracks into one track type. Um, so it, it records and plays back MIDI data, but it has an audio path built in. Now, uh, just in, in our standard view here, we can see a slight issue in that we don't seem to be able to see the audio inputs, uh, the, the MIDI inputs and the MIDI outputs as we do in the MIDI track. Uh, we can only see our audio in inputs and our audio outputs, um, which can present a problem if you're trying to set up MIDI data going into your instrument track. So if we go up here um, and we show the instrument section, we can suddenly see our data uh, our input and our output. We hit record there. You can see that the, the 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 little MIDI meter right there, the MIDI data meter right there, is showing data going in, and it's funneling that data to the expand instrument um, on the uh, on the auxiliary track. Now, if we stick another aux uh, another instrument on here, let's just stick DB33. On here, notice something that Pro Tools didn't automatically update that uh, there's an instrument actually on our our instrument track. We need to manually change that. Normally, what will happen if uh, if if there hasn't been an assignment made already, Pro Tools will automatically see that uh, you want to route the MIDI data to that specific instrument and it will do it for you. Um, but there, there may be some cases where you might need to ma do some manual routing um, and that's just generally how we do it. Now that DB33 is in there, it shows up in your MIDI output list. Um, it's only got a, it can only accept a single MIDI channel at once, which is why it doesn't show us any MIDI channels here. It's a single node. Um, it can only set, accept one MIDI uh, channel at a time, whereas expand can can accept four. Uh, DB33 can only accept one. And when we hit stuff now, we can see that that data is being routed to the the MIDI instrument on the instrument track. So setting up MIDI, there's a number of steps to do it, but once you've done it, and it's it's all it's all based around here really um, to set things up immediately. And I've I was setting this up this morning. You don't even need to, to close Pro Tools uh, for for this stuff to, re to recognize. Once it's in MIDI Studio, Pro Tools will see it. You wouldn't necessarily need to have to restart the door to make that happen. Um, but as long as you understand how the MIDI inputs and the MIDI outputs work on the MIDI tracks and on the instrument tracks, being able to get signals into your tracks and then send those MIDI uh, that MIDI data off to either a auxiliary track or to the, the instrument on the instrument track, it should be relatively simple.